it's a Sunday video, which I said I'd never do. So I'm in the casuals. Can't forget. Lumberjack shirt's still there. And the beard needs a bit of a tidy up. But who cares? It's out of hours, so to speak. What I'm doing today is I... Um, it's an extension of a reply to someone's post I made last night. The issue with the way I communicate is I get my point over better via voice, not by written word. It is not as though I'm bad communicating by words. So I'm just, it's better for me this way. And I think this is quite an important subject. Some people might disagree with me. Maybe it's my age, but it does grind me a bit, this overindulgent things about the modern work environment cultural fit, toxic bosses, toxic work environments. I only work from home. I'm only going to work f hybrid five day a week. Now four day a week only. Soon is it going to be maybe one day a week and, you know, they're going to be paying you not to work maybe just because of the kindness of their heart. We're moving on. My second role in the USA, not my big main first one, but the second one, the CEO of the company was a total dragon. But we love the company. I love the people. We all love the team around us, the brand. So all the senior teams got together and we just managed the CEO out of the business. We managed the manager. He was still the CEO. Don't get me wrong. We still sat the pointless meeting after pointless meeting for no reason at all. But as a team, we handled him and made a success of our roles, the company, and we just helped each other. As per my first interview podcasts I did, the ones that are titled The Beard Monster Industry Specialists, people just need to take some personal responsibility. This can be the same when it comes to a toxic person in a team. Stop moaning about it. Call the team meeting, take responsibility for it, and then as a team. Also, the third and what I think the most important part of the podcast was show some gratitude to your bosses, to your direct reports and to your peers. I've seen it in the last three or four years. There is zero gratitude in the workspace. I made it a sort of KPI in my own company, even though I hate KPIs, so I'm now eating my own words here. So that at least once a month, better more, just take two minutes of your time and just say to someone at work, Thanks for helping me out there, you know, the XYZ project, wherever it is, or thanks for backing me in the meeting. This goes so far. I think it's one of these inspirational talkers, truth says, said, said the ones, gratitude and your attitude controls your latitude or something like that. Send an email, a WhatsApp message and watch your gratitude you give to someone. Just come back, take individual and group responsibilities here as well show some gratitude which in many ways it can be the first and most important step to removing toxic culture i'm actually looking right now hint hint and i've heard on an interview and i've seen it written countless times on linkedin cultural fit i don't fit into anyone's culture I'm not some sort of automaton android propagating the same thing or nothing. I bring myself and I try to bring positive change for all. I am a cultural enhancer, not a cultural fit. And the fact is, you should be too. When we go to a new company, we should all be it, not just me. You all have something special to offer. You know, why does a company... Why are they looking for a cultural fit? You bring in new people, yes, to fill a gap and remove a pain point. But why not bring someone in to excite everyone, make a positive difference for everyone, not drag in more of the same, which according to what I read is toxic anyway. Maybe it's because companies keep on looking for the same type of person that just decided to leave the toxic culture, that this entire problem's there, which I don't believe is a problem really, but why bring in the same people? It just doesn't make any sense. You are brought into a company to enhance it, but the way it operates and its culture. Anyway, off my orange box, short video today, but please be the first to make that step to make you give yourself a better workspace and environment. Just say thank you to someone and mean it. It makes a massive difference. Anyway, see you all soon and hopefully I have something a slightly longer and more interesting video tomorrow. Bye bye.